everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is the project we're making and it stands up like that. It will hold some Hershey nuggets, some Hershey kisses, just some small snack size candy. The uh, all bundled up class packet comes with the colors to make pool party, but it looks really good in um, Poppy Parade also, okay? So step number one is we're gonna stamp our bird and then color it. So I'm using Memento ink. And I was just thinking when I made the Poppy Parade one, I probably should have colored the bird. Well, that's a little high. That's okay, we won't worry about that. It's just another sample for me. Um, so we're using Poppy Parade and Pool Party. I think I stopped in mid-sentence again, didn't I? Um, I'm going to keep this the same. Okay, we're done with the stamping, so we can flip that over, put a dimensional on the back and add it to this stitch circle. This is from the Celebration Tags dies, and that is also the dies that make the box. Now your class packet will have all the die cutting done for you. And so here's the actual box. We're gonna take the paper trimmer and cut this in half. So you're gonna place that score line right in the track and then cut straight across. Okay. So here's the front and the back of our box. While we have the trimmer, let's go ahead and cut our designer series paper. So we need two pieces that measure two and a quarter by two. So I'm gonna cut this to measure two inches and then two and a quarter and two and a quarter. Let's add the designer series paper to the front. Now you could make this container or this entire thing, you could cover this entire thing with your designer series paper. That would look really cute, see? But I don't cut y'all's designer series paper. You get uh, four by six sheets and you do your own cutting. So if you have these dies, you could make your project that way. I'm gonna get my silicone craft sheet and add my adhesive. Okay, there's the first one. And here's the second one. This is the piece that you're gonna be using to make the box right here. And this measures two and a quarter by six and three quarters. Okay, so we're gonna score this on the six and three quarter side at two and an eighth, three and an eighth, five and a quarter, and six and a quarter. We're gonna turn this and score it at one inch on the two and a quarter side. Okay, let's fold on the score lines and burnish with our bone folder. We'll bring all of our projects back in here. Okay, so just a little bit of cutting. We're gonna snip off that part angle cut those and then down here we're going to trim or cut and then angle cut these so I'm going to use my tear and tape and then I'm going to use my take your pick tool to remove the backing and then I'm just going to fold this over like that, okay? 
then we're going to fold this over and add adhesive here. So same thing, I'm just going to use tear and tape. So I'm going to hold this steel and fold that over. There we go. Now we want to attach these. So if you'll notice, I attached it right where that stitch line is. So this little dotted line. So I'm going to put some liquid glue on here. You can use tear and tape, um, whatever you prefer. The reason I'm using liquid glue is it allows me to, it gives me some wiggle room, right? So if I don't get it straight, I can slide it into place. And I can tell it's not exactly straight. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good, right? Just wanna make sure that it's dry before I add the next one. Same thing, I'm gonna put the liquid glue on here. And then pick this up and place it on there. Yeah, that looks good, right? And I just wanna give that a second to dry. In your class packet, you will also have your snowflake. This is everything from this, with the exception of this circle. This is from the layering circles, but this piece, this piece, and this is from the celebration tags dies. And if that is not the correct name, <laughs> I will make sure that I put that on the screen. I think that's what it's called, Celebration Tags. It's a fabulous set of tags, or dies, I should say. Okay, so just in the corner. I'll let that dry. Well, I say that, I need to slide it over because I didn't want to cover up that hole there. And then this is going to get added also with liquid glue. Just right in the middle. I'm going to add one of the embellishment. And this time I'm going to use the larger one because we're just gonna add it right in the middle of the snowflake. Okay, so our final step is the ribbon. So you're gonna bring it from the back. So you would put your treat in there now, preferably. Okay, so what do you think? Pretty cute, right? And look, I just noticed that I did add two additional um, pearls on here, so you can do that or you can skip it. On this one, I didn't add any. On this one, I have three, and on this one, I have one. So whatever you prefer. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this project. Have a great day.